thing you want to always look at too is sound. Um, because like, mm -hmm. you might hear this. Yeah. You might hear that. You might hear almost no sound. Yeah. Right? You want to be able to see what kind of sound you're hearing. Now, uh, what that tells us how much how much vertical force they're landing. So how much impact and how abrupt of impact they're taking on mid. Mm -hmm. So that'll give us an idea, right? If it's if it's really, really quiet, they're probably not landing with a lot of vertical force, right? Which sometimes is a good thing, but also makes it so where they're not gonna feel super, super stable during their runs. So like a lot of vertical, a lot of really loud sounding kind of steps, that means they're they're asking, they're basically trying to hit the, you're hitting the brakes a little bit when you're running, right? Yeah, you're, yeah. you're yeah. trying to hit the brakes a little bit, right? Uh -huh. The brakes are not necessarily a forward brake, it's a vertical brake. Because okay. if I don't hit the brakes on someone in my body, I'm just going to collapse to the ground every yeah. single time, right? So how are they hitting the brakes? Are they barely even like pushing the brakes at all? They're running like this? Mm -hmm. Or are they hitting the brakes really hard? So either way, is gonna, it's going to be tough. Because if, if I'm super quiet, I you don't, usually don't have the vertical ground force reaction capability mm -hmm. to go faster. But if I'm landing really hard, then I don't have the vertical ground force capacity to uh, lighten my load. That usually leads me to wearing out my brakes fast. Okay. That's, I, I did that in quotations because it's not technically what happens, but yeah. it's a good analogy to kind of yeah. use, right? So that, that's why sound is important as well.